Hey guys, welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how to video on how to set up a BitDeer Seal Miner A2. This is a Bitcoin miner, and if you purchase this and you are wanting to know how to set it up, well, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna go through it in this video. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for letting me make this video for you guys. So let's begin with the box that it comes in. So it's gonna be shipped in a pretty nice box just like this. It's gonna be nice and safe with foam pad on the bottom and also the top. Another nice touch is that there are handles, okay? So easy to carry this box once you receive it in shipment. And as well, it is gonna be wrapped in a anti static bag when it's in the box. So if you did purchase one of these, hopefully you did look into what the power is needed to run one of these Bitcoin miners. It's nothing like you can plug in on, you know, a typical 120 volt outlet. No, that's not gonna work with a big boy Bitcoin miner like this, as this thing is gonna be pulling over 37 to sometimes 4300 watts depending on which power mode that you are going to use there is low power mode on this and also a high power mode but then normal power mode as well so make sure you have at least 220 240 volt 30 amp circuit run at your house as well as a 30 amp 240 volt pdu in which you can plug in the supplied p13 p14 okay that goes into the power input here Okay, and then it goes into a C19 to a C20 plug that we're gonna be plugging into my PDU in order to power this seal miner A2 on. Okay, so make sure you have your power set up. Next as well, hopefully you did your research, you're gonna need a place to mine with this because it is gonna output over, you know, 3700 to, you know, 4300 watts of heat. So for example, I have a big metal shelf here and also three 30 amp circuits and also a big boy exhaust fan which is exhausting all the heat that is coming from my ASIC miners, all my big boy ASIC miners. So you wanna make sure to have at least this type of setup or a hot and cold aisle. There are definitely a lot of different methods out there, especially if you are mining at home to have a setup like this. Make sure you do your research before getting this type of setup done. And finally, you'll need internet connectivity, okay? So this Seal Miner A2, this Bitcoin miner is going to require ethernet to get network connection so that you can set it up, which I'll show you guys today how to set it up, the web GUI, your mining pool address and whatnot. And yeah, so you got those three things, power, your area that you're gonna mine with, and also internet in order to mine Bitcoin with this seal miner A2. All right, so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up, it's very easy. So first things first is plug in the ethernet. Second part is I'm gonna plug in the power for the seal miner here. So we're gonna plug in directly into this outlet. Make sure you match up the green with the green on the power cable. And then it goes into the seal miner A2, okay? So just like so. And you're gonna give it a little bit of a push and it should just snap right in, okay? So there we go, it is in now. The next step is the other end. I'm gonna plug it into the PDU and it's gonna turn on right away. There we go. So, first time turn on, it's gonna be very loud, so be mindful of that. That's another thing, noise actually, if you're you know, a home residential miner and you, you can't relatively have loud miners, I'm not saying this one's loud. Actually, when it's mining, it's actually very quiet, but initial startup is very loud. Okay, so once you have all that plugged in, let's go into the computer and we need to get the IP address of this CO Miner A2 so that we can go into the web GUI. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so we're in the computer. So there are two ways to get the IP address of your new A2 CO Miner. So I'm using a freeware software called Advanced IP Scanner. You can Google it, it's free to download, and you can run it. Just It scans your network to find the IP address of the seal miner or any other you know device that's on your network for that matter otherwise you can log into your router if you're comfortable in doing that and also finding the ip address that way then you don't need to uh, download anything you can just go to your router if you already know how to do that 
So anyways, the advanced IP scanner, when I scan my network here, it shows the host name of seal miner. So it's really easy to find, you know, that way. And then I need to copy the IP address, 10.100.100.138. It's probably going to be different for you guys, but that's what it is for me. So I plop that into the browser. Okay. Web browser at the top, as you guys can see right here. So once you plop that in, you're going to be presented with the login screen. Okay. And so the username and password, uh, to log into your new seal miner is going to be seal and password is seal all right so seal seal you press login and you're going to be presented with the amazing web gui of the bitdeer seal miner a2 this is probably one of my favorites love all the different metrics that it shows hash rate power efficiency temperature and whatnot but anyways, next step, okay, you wanna set up the miner config. So on the left-hand side here, there are a bunch of uh, essentially menu items, user panel, which is the dashboard here, then miner config, okay, which is this. This is where you're gonna configure your mining pool, your username, and your password. All right, so this is actually the most important next step that you're gonna be doing. All right, so next step. So there are many different mining pools out there. If you go to miningpoolstats.stream slash Bitcoin, you can see that there are many different Bitcoin pools out there. You know, I'd say the most infamous one for solo mining Bitcoin would, would be, you know, ckpool.org. If you want to solo mine Bitcoin or run your own node locally, I definitely do research on that. But if you want to do pool mining, there are definitely a lot of different mining pools out there. So for today, I'm going to give show you guys the example of using Mining Dutch. Uh, I personally use it. I'm not sponsored by them. But anyways, we're going to show you how to do it. All right. So with also majority of these mining pools, you need to register an account. Okay. Hence, when you look back here, my username isn't a Bitcoin address, but it's the account name so that it distinguishes, you know, which account you're going to be mining to essentially. All right. So on Mining Dutch, for example, well, once you make your account, you make your host name, you need to get the mining pool. Okay. So if you look at the top right, you'll see the menu here. There's a getting started. Okay. And if you scroll down, all right, you also want to make sure you're on SHA-256, that's for Bitcoin mining, that's the algorithm. Then if you scroll down here, uh, you also have to select SHA-256. And then also you want to select your region, all right? So for me, I'm in North America. And if you scroll down here, you're going to be presented with the URL that you are going to copy and paste into the seal miner URL, URL here, okay? Right, make sure there's no spaces and yes and so you also want to get the backup pools as well so there is a different port for mining dutch 9995 or 410 but i decided to use the canada stratum that they have as well so add those mining pools all in okay once you guys all have that and make sure you uh, get the backup like i said uh, depending on your you know geolocation okay then next, you're going to put in your username, which for me, it's RPM and then period to distinguish a worker name. So I called mine just seal miner zero one. You guys can give it any other name that you want. But the biggest thing is to make sure that you have the username, the first part here that distinguishes to your mining Dutch account or, you know, mining pool of choice. OK, most most of them do that exact same way. Then password, you're just going to do X. I just put X and uh, you can put anything. Uh, that you want and then you're going to hit save oh on the seal miner i forgot to mention there are low power mode normal mode high performance and also custom uh, you can play around whichever way that you want uh, most people just do normal but i'm doing low power just for now just to have it low you know a little bit more efficient as well okay then you hit save and it's going to take about five to five to seven minutes for it to start ramping up. Then it's going to do some fine tuning, which uh, or coarse tuning that it's called. It does fine tuning maybe another 10 minutes later. And then it's going to ultimately start mining at full, uh, you know, fully tuned at about 20 to 30 minutes. OK, uh, they're going to have a different timing for the fine tuning. So, yeah, but otherwise, that's it, guys. Then it's going to show up. On your mining pool, once you go to workers on Mining Dutch, uh, you should see, as uh, see for mine, it's called Seal Miner. It shows up on the worker tab here. And uh, yeah, it's getting hash rate already. And then if you're wondering how to get paid out 
your Bitcoin, if you go to the uh, wallets tab, okay, on Mining Dutch right here, the wallet looking tab right here, you can see there are payout settings, okay, on the right here. So for Bitcoin, I am obviously mining in the Bitcoin here. You can see pay, payout settings. You click that, then you can input your, you know, cold storage, hopefully, okay, like a Tangem, for instance, or whichever wallet that you have. Uh, use code RPM if you're interested in a Tangem cold storage wallet. This is where you can get your receiving address for your Bitcoin uh, and then, you know, paste that into the payout settings so that you can get paid your Bitcoin once you have the threshold uh, set for the Bitcoin payout on Mining Dutch. Okay, so that's how you mine with the Seal Miner A2. Okay, let's go back out. Okay, that's how you mine with your BitDeer Seal Miner A2. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for letting me show this to you guys. This is a very nice unit, very sleek. It's powder coated as well. I think it's like kind of anti-scratch. It doesn't scratch easily. I love it. Really nice uh, Bitcoin miner. I love the web GUI and it's quiet as well. Okay, just to show you here, this thing is really not that bad. It's pretty quiet, 66 decibels, like a couple feet away. This Bitcoin miner is actually pretty good for mining at home. Like I can't hear this upstairs because it's, it's generally quiet, depending on your ambient temperature, of course. Okay, thank you Crypto Miner Bros. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, link down below, use code REDPANDA for 70 bucks off if you're interested. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out, peace out.